right, so uh, we're at uh, Wizard World Comic Con. In Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. And uh, so we're going to walk around today. We're going to take a look to see how many comic vendors there are at a Comic Con versus collectibles. Top vendors, because they're vendors. their own cat category. The real question is, is can you still call Wizard World Comic Con Comic Con? Or should it become Pop Culture Con? Yeah. Uh, something along those lines. So, yeah. Are the comics still here? Yeah. that's. I, I, I think my guess going in for two collectible vendors for every comic vendor and three pop vendors for every co uh, comic vendor. That sounds good. That sounds good. What do you think, Evan? Come on. We'll find out. We'll find out. That's what's going to happen. So two more pops for sure. That's not bad for a convention. 80 bucks, that's what they are. Oh, it's the Iron. Oh, okay. Statue. Iron Studios. Uh, did we want to contact them? No. Put it on the list. Kevin, remind me, Iron Studios. Yeah, before we even get there, I see Mezco's, old Marvel Legends, and the Super Hell Carrier that we have. That we have so, in the office. And look at that box. Why would you have ever gotten rid of that box? So this, newer Legends, but just a wall. I mean, like, the Red Ghost Rider, nice. Professor X. You've got the variant of the Vision that's clear. you got both Ghost Riders. I didn't see that. Man man thing I haven't seen in a long time. Deadpool and Duke, was that Duke? Duke, yeah. That's the only way you can get Duke, I think, at all. Both vi uh, bishops Aww. with hair and without. Cool Maestro. The Maestro. The Ma Maestro had all that, like, he has a belt with, the, like, all that cool, like, helmets on it and stuff. That's oh, sweet. spider Hulk. Yeah. Oh, the white... Just, just, just got that. Definitely. White Lantern Flash. Jay Gray. Got some real good ones. I don't ones. TRU thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the that set. X. Wow, they got some cool stuff here. I don't know how much on this, but this is on my need list. What it's is? It's the Maddie ex exclusive Legion of Superheroes set. And the, the, the empty tray, it's my favorite. The empty tray is an actual character because he's invisible. <laughs> so. The manager? Yeah. I could drop like $1,500 just right in this booth and then just leave now and just be happy. Just like honestly, just take that with me and be like, all right, guys, this is great. Glad we came. What was that? Poor Batman. The cheapest one out of all of them. This is an old school comic book vendor. So he doesn't have toys, he's got statues. Being that Red Sun Superman, no, how it's amazing. unbelievable. What is that? Statue? Yeah, there's so many statues. I think that's the long Halloween. 470? 1200 bucks. Are they like Gentle Giant? No, these are, this has got to be Sideshow, right? What? Um. Yeah. I think he has them. He has the $5 here. He's doing them for five. Hey, Tom, come on. I'm just waiting to take him home, Evan. I swear, <laughs> I'm, wait, I'm waiting to take him home. Do I have space to take him home? We almost went with the fern. We moved the fern up real high. <laughs> Put Kong up the fern. Uh, that amazing Spider-Man yeah. set up there. Got that on Amazon for fifteen dollars over Christmas. It's not prominent in the box collector, so that's a good deal. Twenty for Hera. 
but that's what she, well, you can't find her anywhere. That's a good deal. That's fair. On, you're, oh, you're looking away. You're actually looking away while I'm trying to get you. All right, we've got a real book vendor over here, what? so is it possible? I've never seen you walk that fast, Evan. Yeah, I think it's the same guy. Go ahead, get in there, get in there. Get her, Ray. Get her. Plan, right? That's your plan? You know what, the fact Get that you it. even got that, I'm I'm overjoyed with happiness. I love these accessory sets. That is that is neat. Like get six or seven of these. Oh yeah. Oh Kong. I, you know what? Kong is a solid fifty. I will Why, can you hold together for that? Tell how much is Kong worth? It it's it, it it has no it has no price for me because Evan got it for me his birthday. Aww. See, he does love you. Check this out. Bob Ross? Bob Ross with a Deadpool head. Oh, uh, that's perfect. That's smart. Superman. The ladies of the Batman the animated series. These are actually really well priced for a comic book adventure. My dad. Have we seen uh, an action figure vendor that has not had pops yet? No. no. I mean, you, you got to get a real special one that has a disdain for Pops. That's because why why do you throw money away? People buy them. You know what I mean? And you got to stay in business nowadays. Here, Evan, your appearance for the episode. That's me. That's me, Mario. What was that? <laughs> It was, my, it was my DuckTales Hot Toys. I wanted you to do it again. Hot Toys, woo. Everybody out there spending too much money on Hot Toys. Woo. Woo. Blue Tooth. Blue Snaggle Tooth. Hello, junkies. Welcome to the end of our coverage of Wizard World 2018 in Philadelphia. So we came into this wondering whether there would still be comics at a Comic Con. What we found was there was a lot of pop vendors, and there were two psychics. There was Fudge, and T-Mobile had a pretty uh, large presence. If you were bored at any time during this video, it's probably because we were bored during part of this. We went around for two hours and then left. And though we got in for free as press, if you're going there and you don't live in Philly, you're paying about $25 for parking, and you're paying $55 for a day on like Saturday, let's say. And so you're $75 in the hole before you even get to see anything. So going in and looking for vendors and looking for things to buy, it's sort of difficult. But here's the thing. If you're not just there for vendors, if you're not just there for action figures or comic books, it's still a fun place to be. You can see that we had a, still had a little bit of fun just hanging out there as friends. So is it a Comic-Con? Eh. Is it still fun to be at? Sure.